Welcome back guys to my Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix 100% walkthrough on the PlayStation 4. So we just beat the Heartless and Port Royal, cleared up all the treasures. We're still missing two puzzle pieces, but we won't be able to get those until later. So now we'll make our way over to Agrabah. Now this segment is rather easy, it's, it's pretty short as well. So as you start out here in the Peddler Shop, go ahead and make your way outside. And you'll want to head directly over to the left and head inside the bazaar. Now, you could take this door, make it a lot easier, I guess. So once inside the, the door to the bazaar here, you'll notice the last time we couldn't get this uh, puzzle piece up here, but now we have high jump and aerial dodge, so go ahead and make your way, jump up and grab that puzzle piece, and then head out to the palace walls. So after Genie does his little magic, go ahead and head out and you will begin the mini carpet ride where we're going to chase Jafar. So go ahead and head towards Jafar for a cutscene and a forced battle. Now these battles are pretty easy now that we have uh, Magnet and it's upgraded a little bit so it lasts a little bit longer and it can take care of these uh, smaller guys really really easy so after you get done with the battle follow Jafar and you'll notice a puzzle piece right here in the way so grab that and then continue on following him he'll try to cast a spell just swing at him once interrupt him and then keep following him So as he goes out of the second archway, we have another puzzle piece here. So go ahead and grab that. And then after that, follow him to the end of this building here and swing at him. And land a combo. Once you land the combo, the cutscene will happen. So go ahead and head over, grab your last puzzle piece, and then head up to the top of the tower. So we'll be stuck in another force battle again. Uh, make quick use, just use Magnet. The big Nocturnes are rather annoying. They cast a lot of fire spells and it messes you up. So try to dispatch them quickly. So at this time we have to activate three switches. So the first one is located directly down and you have to use fire on it. So use fire when they all turn red and then head back up and through the ruins again. The second switch is located to the right here underneath this overpass you have to use blizzard on it. So if you don't have them hot buttoned then you'll have to cast them manually through the menu. So after you've activated that second switch the third one is located to the left on top of this pillar and you'll have to use thunder on it. So wait for the align and turn yellow, and then cast your thunder magic on it to lock the third seal. So you'll have a time limit to get back, which is way more than enough time. So just fly back and enter the door here. And once inside, go ahead and grab this chest for the map and then open the behind yourself chest for the last remaining torn pages in the 100 acre wood. So if you're following along on my guide we should have all five torn pages and that will net us a completion of the 100 acre wood. So after you've gathered those pages go ahead and make your way to the back here for a cutscene and you'll be stuck in this pretty much escape from the ruins kind of mini game. Uh, this is pretty much just free experience. So these bats, they take one hit to kill and then the bigger guys, they move up and down but if you can combo them they instantly die. 
it's actually not a bad idea to uh, play this mini game over a couple of times just to get some free experience because it's just one hit. Now you'll notice that I swung and hit that guy into the fat boy on the pillar. If you do that, yeah, you'll get almost a thousand experience just for killing that big boy. You have to hit the heartless at a specific angle. Right there. The 958 experience just for killing that fat boy. So you can kill everything which is actually part of the minigame that you have to beat in order to 100% everything. So with those two, you have officially killed every single monster. So all that free experience is pretty good. It's not bad if you miss anything, but if you 100% it like I did, then that's some pretty good experience. So have to cut Sammy back to the palace walls here, and what you're going to want to do is just head over to the palace area. So once inside Agrabah, next to the palace area, talk to this guy with a big turban on his head. And then he'll tell you that you know everything pretty much and blah blah blah, the, the genie's lamp. And So head to the palace and we will begin our boss battle with Jafar. Now this guy is super easy, like super easy. The first thing you want to do is float down and just start comboing his stomach. So once you combo his stomach, You'll have an action command called Roll Up, so go ahead and roll him up, and then hit it with the Spin Burst, and then float down immediately, target his head, and do jump combos on him. This is to ensure the best possible amount of damage that you can do to him in one allotted time. And then he'll freeze you, and once you're able to break free, go ahead and start beating his stomach up again, until the action command comes up. And yet again, rinse and repeat. Target his head. And then he'll cast you into this whirlwind and dark world. You can pretty much just sit here in one spot. You'll get hit a couple of times, but it doesn't do that much damage unless you're on critical mode. But if you want to dodge everything, you just go up and down. Just push up and down on the right analog stick and you'll pretty much avoid everything. And then once he casts you back out, fly directly towards his stomach again and land a couple of combos on it. And then use the roll-up command. And if you successfully did this three times while landing your aerial combos, you should be able to bring him down. And that will net you the Fyraga element. Back off. So as we obtain our Wishing Lamp Keyblade, that concludes this episode of Agrabah. So be sure to hit that subscribe button in the upper left hand corner, comment and like this video, and join me in the next one where we will take on Halloween Town and the Present Thief at Candy Cane Lane.